Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today partnering with Figma to show you a wonderful feature for collaboration, the share button. So you access the share button up in the upper right corner and everything I'm going to show you, please make sure your Fig Jam is in a project, not in drafts. So we click on the share button and there we can start typing in emails And once we have our collaborator in there, we can give edit access or view access and send invites. Additionally, we can give anyone with the link, anyone with the link and password or only people invited to this file. So you can do that great anyone with the link and then you can, can view or edit, but you can also set a password for that option as well. Other things we can do include clicking this toggle right here to not allow viewers to copy, share, or export from this file. We can turn that off. Additionally, we can copy a link. We can get an embed code to embed a Fig Jam in a website. We can publish to the community. And when that happens, if you go to figma.com slash community, and we'll scroll down and I'll make this just Fig Jams. And you'll see all these Fig Jams that have been published by other Fig Jam users you can publish to this community using this feature. Let's go back to invite. Another great thing we can do is we can start a 24 hour session. It automatically ends after 24 hours, although we can end it before that. This is great for getting your students into a fig jam. So if I click start and click start, now I'll copy the link. And I can go into my Google Classroom and create an assignment where I paste that link. And now students in that class will access that Fig Jam for 24 hours. Or I can end it earlier or just leave it for 24 hours so students can come back to it. Participants don't even need a Figma account to participate. Watch this. If I click copy link and I'll bring up an incognito window and let's paste that in. It prompts me to give a name, so I'll give a quick name. Not signed into Figma. I click access file. And now I can edit just like any other collaborator and I'll do a quick, let's do a quick sticky note because what will happen, let me zoom in on that. Is that it actually has my name in there. Let's look at what, what it looks like from the owner's perspective. So I leave the sharing dialogue and I see here, look at this. Tom Incognito has actually put in a sticky note and I can even follow Tom Incognito as Tom Incognito contributes. And that is all available with the share button. So if I want to facilitate a session with my colleagues using Figma, even if they've never signed in before, I can use this 24 hour session feature to get them up and going collaborating in a fig jam before i go i want to shout out my partner figma sign up for the figma chromebook beta by going to figma.com chromebooks get verified for a free edu account by going to figma.com education and if you want to play with all the sharing features in fig jam Go to figjam.new in your browser right now to get started. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.